Hello guys, Panda here, and hope you're all doing pretty well. Today we've got just a pretty basic talking vlog and a little update video just to say some things. Now, I'm very in the process of getting a new computer. On Wednesday, I'll have a new computer. I'm going to have to download all my games, all my software, you know, set up everything. It's going to be a complete nightmare, um, but I am quite looking forward to it. Obviously, because new computer, you know, I can get rid of this Minecraft cube that's been sitting here on my desk. My current computer does look like a Minecraft cube. Yes, I can definitely replace that. That'll be nice. And, uh, you know, just basically have a computer that actually works and doesn't crap out me all the time. Yeah, that's going to be really fucking nice. Also, a few other things. I think I'm going to be taking this week. I do have a few videos already made. But with this week, with the new computer coming and with some... Uh, upcoming changes, I think I'm going to be taking a week, a break. Just a break. I've not had a break from YouTube or anything. I've had a holiday in so many years. I think five years. Um, so I think for the rest of this week, until like next Monday, I'm just going to chill out. I'll still put out these videos that I already have made. Uh, and then next week, next Monday, around then at least, we can try and get into it uh, and do some things and hopefully be a little bit refreshed. So that means I'm not going to be streaming this week. Sorry for the stream viewers and the subs on the stream. I do apologize for that. I will be streaming again next week. Um, we're going to try and work out a new schedule for the stream at some point also. Uh, lots of things happening. Lots of things happening. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just critically stressed at the moment, guys. I've got to be honest. Critically stressed um, with these things that are happening. And, you know, there's certain things that I'm trying to sort out. And it's just killing me. I just... I'm just... I can't even sleep at the moment. So uh, it's been a real struggle to actually like get up and try and get content done on time. Uh, which is why I've been, you know, I've taken a few days off, fucked up a bit. I, I figured if I just get out of the way, just get a week done, just relax, just refresh myself, then it'll be, it'll be good, you know? Hopefully it'll be good. We finished XCOM 2 as well, XCOM 2, which is good. I mean, it's good and it's bad. I was loving that game, I love it so much, I really, I'm quite sad to see it go. Because I was loving it, but I am going to be definitely starting up a playthrough of a heavily modded XCOM 2 on the live stream. If you're not aware, I do stream four times a week. Uh, currently on the current schedule, I'm going to be changing the schedule next week or in the next couple of weeks. So that probably won't stay okay. particularly true. However, I have been streaming for the last year. Uh, if you want to come along and say hi, that would be fantastic. We're about to have the, uh, the 12-month anniversary of getting the sub button over on Twitch. It's been a good time. It's been a really good time. And I think doing XCOM 2 is going to be a perfect way to do that. Because I started off basically the first 100 days of streaming last year. I streamed 100 days in a row. And all of those streams basically were XCOM, Enemy Unknown, Long War mod. Which is a big ass mod. Made a few videos on it. Uh, if you're in the stream, obviously you'll know what that is. But um, I based the stream. Basically, it started off this year. Or last year at least. Because I used to stream World of Warcraft a long time ago. But it started off this year last year, sorry, with um, just lots of XCOM, and I'd like to go back to that. Honestly, it is one of my favorite games. XCOM, amazing. XCOM 2, they only improved it, and the fact that there's a lot of people playing this one, a lot of people modding it, means there's a lot, a lot of opportunities to have a lot of fun with it, which is awesome. Uh, I'm sorry there was no DayZ this week. I did want to go and record with Vertigo. Uh, I'm not blaming it on either of us, but uh, fucking hell, having someone to record with who is on the complete opposite time schedule obviously he's in Australia and I'm in England having these two things is I find it really hard like when he's waking up in the morning I'm ready to go to bed and when I'm getting up in the morning he's ready to go to bed so it's kind of a bit of a nightmare scenario uh, we both sleep while the other one's awake but uh, I definitely want to get some more Daisy done I'd like to get quite a lot more Daisy done actually I was really really have been enjoying that and uh, hopefully with the new computer I can put out some really high quality videos. Also, I'm going to be upgrading my editing software. I'm using Sony Vegas 10 that I bought years ago. I bought it for $750 or something. I don't think I know anyone who's actually bought editing software apart from myself and then actually Nalzi did recently. I'd like to see proof that anyone else did, but it just felt like the right thing to do a couple of years ago, you know? I was uh, making decent YouTube money and I was like, you know what? If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it properly. You would be surprised at how many people use uh, illegal copies of editing software. Not that I'm condemning you, I did that for years myself, but it feels kind of nice to own it, but then now I've got to pay to upgrade it to the latest version, which is kind of mm -mm. not my favorite thing, 
but uh, whatever, we're going to upgrade to Sony Vegas 13, which actually sounds like it's going to be fantastic. And with a new computer, with fancy pants parts and lots of RAM, then I should be able to render up my videos at higher quality also, which is uh, a bonus. YouTuber life is going to continue. I want to become the greatest YouTuber on the planet and see where that goes. I have some more of that recorded. Sheltered, I'm going to make a couple more videos on Sheltered. Sheltered, I'm pretty sure I've reached the end of its lifespan. You know, I could continue to play it, but there's not really anything new that's going to happen. So Sheltered, I think, pretty much done. I did enjoy that, though. Uh, what else? Dead by Daylight. I put out a Dead by Daylight video last week or something, and it's doing really, really well. If any of you are here from that Dead by Daylight video, thank you very much. And uh, I hope that you enjoy my killing skills. I don't quite know that why that video did so well, but I'm not complaining whatsoever. I'm going to really start thinking in the next week, well, starting next week, that I need to sort out some sort of proper schedule for the channel. Obviously, we already have Sunday Z, which is a set-aside day for Daisy, And also Wednesday, I kind of like doing it there as well, midweek. But I'd like to have a set day, set sort of schedule per day. So maybe one day I can make like a vlog and just sit here and talk and just, you know, have a little chat, which I do actually really enjoy doing. My Pretty much my favourite thing about streaming is the start of the stream. When you just start the stream, you don't have to play any games. You can just sit there, have a nice little chat with everyone, see how everyone's been doing, have some fun with that. Um, but yeah, I think a vlog day would actually be pretty cool. Get my dog in on it. I mean, I'm not particularly a huge fan of being on camera myself, my face, but you know what? I'm a big fan of the first person video uh, vlog style shit. I think that is great. I used to love being on camera, honestly. I was looking back at my channel the other day, like way, way, way back. And there were a bunch of videos from when I was in LA, when I was doing like vlogs with face cam and stuff. And they didn't come out too bad as far as I'm concerned when I'm watching them. But the idea of doing it now makes me cringe really, really quite hard. But maybe we'll get back into the zone where I can actually feel comfortable doing that. Maybe one day. It's a, it's a process, you know. I think it's a process that we're going to just have to work on. Oh, here's another thing. Now, a lot of people do often leave comments on the channel saying, hey, why does this guy have so many subscribers and so little views? And I completely understand that. You know, if I was looking at my channel, I would also say the same thing. And I can explain it a little bit. Uh, but I just wanted to say one thing is that the channel is finally growing. From the point where I hit 400,000 subscribers, like, last year, all I've been doing is steadily, like... I've been gaining subscribers as well, but we've been losing subscribers. Like, and it's pretty much been happening across the board. Look at anyone's channel, look at Rithian's channel, look at like uh, Zoe's channel, look at a bunch of channels that have been around for a bunch of years and during this period they were losing subscribers every day and I'm pretty sure that was due to Google clearing out old accounts. I mean if you guys know this account you're watching, this YouTube account is nine years old, it will be ten years old in September so a couple of months. So uh, there's some really old subscribes on here. You imagine someone subscribed here on my channel ten years ago you know, there's a large chance that these people are no longer playing games. There's even a chance that they're dead. I think me and Nazi did some sort of equation where we worked out what percentage of the population on average dies. And we figured out that like 5% of our subscribers are probably dead people. Which is... I don't know. It's interesting. It's also kind of weird. But um, we're finally gaining subscribers again. It's happening. And it's making me feel really good. I mean, it's making me feel a little bit scared as well because it's been so long. I honestly thought it was just going to keep on going down forever until I was at zero, but uh, it's actually picked up a little bit, and I'm so fucking happy for that. So happy. I mean, it just it's just good for my brain, okay, to be able to look at it and not be like, oh, we're going down again. It was a pretty depressing year. I mean, the year was pretty depressing for me anyway, suffering from, a like, chronic depression, but that entire situation was pretty fucking depressing. So that's kind of the reason that the channel doesn't get that many views, is that... Over the 10 years, I've amassed 400,000 subscribers, but a lot of them are inactive. Uh, some of them are dead. Um, some of them don't play in games anymore, etc., etc., etc. That's just the that's just the way it is. There's nothing that you can do about it. Um, it would be interesting if you could somehow say to Google, "Hey, only let my active subscribers, you know, be subscribed. Unsubscribe everyone else." However, that would probably end up with me having about 25,000 subscribers. So. Maybe it's not a good idea to do that. Maybe I should just shut the fuck up and just be happy with what I've amassed over these years. And uh, thank you very much, guys, for being here at this current point, watching to the end of this video, and being subscribed to my channel. It's um, it's been a long, it's been a long fucking road. Trust me. But I'm hoping that this is the start of something good, and we're gonna start picking up, get the ball rolling, get some fun stuff done, and start feeling good about life. So that's it, I think. I think that's it for my vlog. 
um, a little bit of a channel update. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Uh, thank you for sticking with me and supporting me. It does mean a lot. And uh, I hope to bring some really fun entertainment and good stuff to you in the coming years, I guess. I mean, I've got no plan on really stopping this. This is pretty much all I do. So, if I didn't do this, then uh, I wouldn't do anything. So, life would be shit. So, I'm pretty sure we're going to continue doing this. And I hope you guys stick around. Have a bloody fantastic day. Uh, go check out an old video, you know, if you uh, are looking for something to watch. And I will see you next week. Enjoy the content. We've got a YouTuber life, sheltered, and, and, well, shit. I recorded something else. Anyway, you'll see. You'll see. And maybe we'll start up a Sim series in the coming weeks. I would like to kind of try Sims 4, see how it is. I'm pissed that there's no pets expansion for it yet, but there are rumors that The Sims 4 Pets is coming quite soon. And that is the expansion pack that made The Sims 3 what it was. M made The Sims 3 super freaking awesome. I'm pissed off that they've not created the Pets expansion for Sims 4 yet. Come on! It's obviously the best DLC. Just make it. Just, when you release Sims, just release it with all of your goddamn stupid 20 DLCs that's going to cost you £400 to own. Just release it all at once, EA, okay? So people can buy what they want to buy. Shit! I freaking bought Sims 4 when it came out, and I've not touched it. I've not touched it at all, which kind of sucks. But, uh, right, I'm just rambling now. Alright, guys, have a fantastic day. Love you guys. Panda out.